I'm 30 years old, living in New York City. I work as a burlesque dancer, and I make $50,000 a year. I have about $14,000 in savings. After taxes, my take home is $3,333 a month. $14.95 a month goes to rent. $270 goes to motorcycle payments and insurance. $150 on average on utilities. $20 a month on monthly subscriptions. That leaves around $1,398 a month to spend. I have $0 in credit card debt and $45,000 in student loans. I've been performing and producing for about four and a half years. So burlesque is a classic striptease. It's very glamorous. There are a lot of rhinestones and feathers, but it's more about the tease than just taking your clothes off. It's more of a performance. I have a background in ballroom and Latin dancing. I've been doing that since high school, and I happened to take a burlesque class with my sister, just an intro class, and it kind of was everything that I loved. It included costuming, which I've always done, sewing, and I've always been crafty, and dancing and performance. So the payment I receive per night varies from $100 to $500. If I'm producing the show, then I make the profits from the ticket sales after I pay everyone. But if I'm just hired as a burlesque performer for someone else's event, it's like a flat rate, and then you'll get tips on top of that. If you split them from like a tip bucket, it's like $30. But if I dance in like a go-go set, where where you dance in between acts of a show, then people come to you and tip. So I've had people that tipped $100 during like a few songs just from one person. You get paid more if it's a corporate event rather than just like a show in a bar. And for those, you'll have to leave on your bra and wear like a full underwear. And it's funny because it's like, is this even really what you want <laughs> to have here? Here's my last statement. Venmo payment, $77. I believe that is for a new costume I'm commissioning. Other designers take Venmo or PayPal deposits at least to start work on a custom costume piece. I have about 15 costumes. I'd say a costume costs on average about $500 to $800. This one came from the song I'm going to use. The song is called The Girl on Death Row. So I wanted to do kind of like an avant-garde, vintage prisoner gown. <laughs> so it'll be black and white horizontal stripes and then black undergarments. My guilty pleasure when it comes to spending is definitely costumes. The funny thing about burlesque is that you spend so much on each costume that you have to do so many shows to pay that costume off. <laughs> but at the same time, that's how you're booked and your reputation as a professional is also linked to like your costumes and how versatile they are for all different kinds of gigs. It's a lot of performers that also design on the side, so they know what zippers need to be where to easily take things off. Remote online deposit, 250. My family owns a couple of restaurants in Wilmington, North Carolina. I do their social media. Square, $241. Square, $204. Square, $154. Those are all tickets for shows. I have been producing a show in Memphis for the last six months that just ended. I was splitting my time between Memphis and New York, so the show that took place there was every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and then I would come back and spend Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning in New York. People would pay at the door and use my square reader, so that goes directly into my account each week. Venmo cash out, $165. Those are tips from the show. Instead of just taking cash in a tip bucket, I started putting my Venmo account on tip envelopes so people could pay cash or use Venmo if they didn't have cash on them. Just another way to get tips. Harley Davidson bill pay, $204. So that is paying off my motorcycle that I bought in 2016. I worked there for one summer, so I had the employee rate. I think it was like a $13,000 motorcycle and I got it for 11,000. I had never been on a motorcycle, just on the back, maybe twice in my life. So I took the course in order to get my license to see if I would 
like it. And in that time, it became part of my whole identity. Last summer, I went from New York to San Francisco and I booked shows all along the way. So it's like a way for me to tour now. And I put two costumes in my saddlebags and like just go for thousands of miles. <laughs> 26 stars, bill.com, $200. That is a payment for performing at Lavo, New York. Groupon 118, I set up a Groupon deal for my show in Memphis and those are cash outs from that. PayPal transfer, $300. In my PayPal account, the ticket sales through Eventbrite are just kept in that balance. And that was payment to a performer. PayPal instant transfer Von Esper Studios, 150. So that is a videographer here in New York that I work with a lot to make promotional videos. Lydia Fashion of New York, $205. That is a gown that I bought to wear in a wedding. Knife Bird Wine Bar, $48. That is a wine bar in Memphis. I went there and paid the tab when my mom came to visit. Not everyone has a supportive family in burlesque, but my parents are like really proud. My mom is very much like a stage mom and she helps make many of my costumes. My mom made this actually. It was a larger dress that she resized and then put in a, a zipper so it's easy to take off on stage. And my dad has seen several shows too. He's a performer also, so. They, they love it. It's PayPal transfer New York Burlesque Festival for $15. I applied to be in the New York Burlesque Festival, so that was like an application fee. I didn't get in this year. <laughs> Western Stage Props, $94. So that is a prop that I, I'm learning a new skill. It's the bullwhip cracking. So I'll be learning how to do that as like a little gimmicky talent in my shows. The Cove, $12. That's one of my favorite bars in Memphis. Venmo cash out, $140. That is tips from shows. And then also I book go-go dancers for a bar, Pink's, here in Manhattan. So they pay me via Venmo for that. Lift $13, Lyft $11, Lyft $13. I hate to see how many Lyft and Uber rides I take. The next is Dairyland for $61. That's my motorcycle insurance, a monthly payment. Change Point Laundry, that's $2. Change Point Laundry, $1. So that was my laundry machine in my building in Memphis. I wanted to make a show that was like something that didn't exist in Memphis before with a live band, with local musicians and then nationally known burlesque performers so I had to house the burlesque performers that were coming in from all over the country as part of their arrangement for performing in the show. I had an apartment where the other performers from out of town would come and stay so I did so much laundry of all the sheets in the apartment so there are a lot of laundry charges. General Nutrition Center $44 so I I eat a lot of Quest bars for breakfast and dinner sometimes. <laughs> I don't like to eat a lot before a show because there's nowhere to hide when you take all your clothes off. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I have a recurring payment where they send two boxes of s'mores Quest bars to my house. Planet Fitness, $20. That's my gym membership. It was great because it's a national membership if you pay a little more. So it's $20 in their locations in Memphis where I was and in New York where I split my time. Venmo payment, $100. Venmo payment, $75. So those Venmo payments are paying musicians that play live music during our burlesque show that we will dance to. It's kind of like hot jazz and swing. Amazon Marketplace, $13. That was for pasty tape. I get double-sided tape that you use for like garments to use for my pasties to make sure they stay on. So I go through a lot of that and I have it delivered on Amazon. Okay, Dwayne Reed, $63. I think I was just stocking up on shampoo and conditioner and convenience store things. Seamless Loving Hut, $49. That's a place in Brooklyn. In the last five months, I didn't have the day off. I would, I would arrive in New York and get Seamless or lunch somewhere and then have shows each night and then take an early flight back to Memphis. So there wasn't a lot of cooking. It was, a, you know, just eating out. Venmo payment, 
215. So during this time, I had a substitute host at the show in Memphis, and she wanted to be paid via Venmo. So that's what that is. Kroger, $53. They have a big, nice grocery store in Memphis. I bought food for the week. I would keep snacks in the apartment for the other performers and myself. I mostly get produce, vegetables, and hummus, and fruit, and just kind of put it on a plate. I don't usually cook. Old Navy, $37. I bought a dress and a couple t-shirts because it was really hot in Memphis this summer. Charles Miller, MD, $100. Charles Miller, hmm. Oh, okay, yes. I was considering getting LASIK eye surgery and that was a deposit for that. You know, the funny thing about that is I really want to do it. It's such a hassle with glasses and contacts, but the requirement for surgery was for two weeks after you're operated on, you can't wear makeup. So as silly as it sounds, that was like a deal breaker for me because that means two weeks off of work. Wearing heavy makeup and eyelash glue and everything everything on my eyes is a job requirement <laughs> for me. So I wasn't able to get LASIK because I couldn't wear makeup for two weeks. And the people in the office thought it was so funny that that would be what kept me from getting it, but it is certainly a job requirement. So I have to really figure out when I can take two weeks off. I would say my advice for women looking to get into burlesque is to go to shows and introduce yourself to producers, take classes at the New York School of Burlesque, that's how I started, and just go to shows and support burlesque that's already happening. I think people are surprised to hear that there's such a business side of burlesque, especially as a full-time burlesque performer. You have to really hustle and it's not just a hobby for me, and a lot of people it is, and that's fine, but if you're trying to make it a full-time job, you have to really utilize your business sense to make any money from it. <laughs>